Dear students, in this topic, we shall discuss the excitation contraction coupling. You know that the skeletal muscles contract in response to a nerve impulse that comes from the brain and arrives through motor neurons at the neuromuscular junction. At the neuromuscular junction, acetylcholine is released as a neurotransmitter from the motor neurons. This acetylcholine binds to specialized receptors which are ligand gated ion channels present in the post synaptic muscle fibers. These ligand gated ion channels open and cause the movement of sodium and potassium ions. The movement of these ions result in change in the membrane potential of the muscle membrane which results in membrane excitation. The membrane potential of excited muscle fiber is known as end plate potential. The membrane excitation of the muscle fiber results in triggering of an all or none action potential in the muscle fiber membrane. This action potential then propagates away, exciting the entire membrane of the muscle fiber. Jab ye excitation phailti hai, to iska nitija ke it sets in motion all the sequence of events that lead to contraction of the muscle. The sequence of all these events which convert an action potential to a muscle contraction is known as excitation contraction coupling. Dear students, when an action potential arrives, it takes several milliseconds to begin contraction. Yani action potential ke bilkul saath immediately contraction happen nahi ho jati. There is a latent period. This latent period is because of the large size of skeletal muscle fibers which cannot contract unless the action potential spreads deep into the fiber to the vicinity of each myofibril. During this latent period, action potential is transmitted through the transverse tubes or transverse tubules deep within the fiber. Transverse tubules istamal hoti hain jo ke action potential ko cell ke deeper parts mein myofibrils tak lekar jati hain. Dear students, the transmission of action potential through the T-tubules results in the release of calcium ions from the stores of sarcoplasmic reticulum. Sarcoplasmic reticulum ke paas calcium ions ka store hota hai aur jab T-tubules mein action potential transmit hota hai to phir jo sarcoplasmic reticulum hai uske oopar effect karta hai aur wahaan se calcium ions release hote hai. As a result, the concentration of calcium ions increases inside the muscle fiber in the immediate vicinity of myofibrils. These calcium ions then cause the contraction to begin. Is tarah se hum ye dekh sakte hai ke excitation, contraction, coupling ka jo net effect hai wo ye hai ke action potential jo ke plasma membrane mein generate hua tha उसको लिंक किया जाए कॉन्ट्रैक्शन के साथ 
with the help of free calcium ion concentration in the cytosol jo ke phir contraction ko initiate karti hai 